Today we are making a food tray for my sister-in-law's college graduation. We're making it out of some pine and okay. beadboard. And, and then we're going to paint it white. Yep, and then we might sand it, distress it, whatever she likes, and make it pretty cute. So we're excited, and let's get to it. Let's go. All right. So first thing we got to do is cut down all the side pieces to their proper width and height. And we're going to do that on the table saw. All right, so now we're gonna miter all the corners so everything fits together nicely. So before we glue all these pieces together, we're gonna to make a curved profile on the top of the short end pieces. This is where the handle's gonna go and the curve just gives it a nice shape to it. Here we're marking the placement for the handles we're gonna cut into the short sides. This is just gonna be made by two circles cut out with a Forstner bit, and then we're gonna connect the lines with a jigsaw. My dad had a couple of really interesting old clamps that I had never really seen before. I don't know if they're still available for sale, but this is another one of them. Um, this one squeezes from all four corners and there's a screw with a wing nut right in the middle and you just drive the wing nut further onto the screw and that pushes the whole rectangle together. It's a really neat concept. I don't know that I would buy one, but it was really cool to use for uh, this project. Okay, so I didn't get footage of this, but we used a rabbiting bit on the router table to get that edge that you see Jenny putting glue in right there. And then the next step, my dad took some beadboard and cut it out on the table saw to match the width and length of the bottom of the little rectangle we just made for the bottom panel. He really took his time and he even wanted to get the pattern of the beadboard to be the same on each side. So you see him here just trimming it up to make sure that it's even with the pattern. And then he took the bottom over to the miter saw to nick off the corners. That way the round corner that was left by the rabbiting bit, we wouldn't have to chisel that square or anything like that. The panel would just drop right in. And then you see Jenny using the 18 gauge brad nailer just to put in some brads on the bottom of the panel so we didn't have to wait for the glue to dry. Jenny painted it with some white chalk paint and then she sealed it with wax after sanding it smooth. And that was pretty much it.
All right, and here's our finished food tray that we made. We got it all painted and we put some wax on it and buffed it out to seal it. I think it turned out pretty good. We got the handles a uh, nice size and it kind of forms to your hand nicely when you lift it up. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So give us a like if you liked what you saw in this video. Otherwise, if you liked what you saw so far, you're probably gonna like a lot of the stuff we do. So go ahead and subscribe to our channel. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.